Hey everybody, Mr. Crocker here. Want to talk to you a little bit more about the governor. Now I told you we wouldn't talk about him in class, and I'm sticking to my word, but I'm finding a loophole. I want to talk about him a little bit more because literally as I just got done teaching a class, I come back to my office and I found out he's been accused of another crime. And this one involves uh, improper use of a charity that he himself founded. Now back in 2007, the governor founded a charity called The Mission Continues. And it is a, uh, a charity that you can donate to that helps veterans. He founded this himself. But turns out, uh, there were some allegations in 2016 that the information that the charity has was improperly handled, and Missouri started investigating him. So we have an attorney general, an attorney general in Missouri is the person, Missouri's number one law enforcement guy. And this guy's name is Josh Hawley. He is also a Republican. He's in the same party Greitens is in. But he led an investigation, and in the investigation of the mission continues, has uncovered potential criminal wrongdoing by the governor. Apparently, uh, the governor has allegedly taken a long list of donors that gave a lot of money to that charity and used it for political fundraising. This is illegal in Missouri, and doing that is called computer tampering. And I did a little reading on this. It's unclear. I'm not a lawyer, but it's unclear whether this is a Class D felony or a Class E felony. Class E felony means up to four years in prison. Class D means up to seven years. He's being accused of felony invasion of privacy. That's a seven-year sentence. Uh, this might be just a four-year sentence. So this is a third area in which the governor himself has gotten in trouble. Now, the uh, attorney general and the governor, even though they're in the same party, don't like each other very much. Holly has called for Greitens to step down related to the sex abuse claims and related to the felony invasion of privacy. Uh, Greitens has brushed him off, and uh, Greitens has issued a statement saying that Holly is better at press conferences than he is at being a lawyer. So that's kind of an implication that... Uh, he's going to stay in office and he's going to fight that charge. Uh, but Holly has given the evidence of that potential criminal wrongdoing to an attorney, and the uh, Missouri attorney will be the person prosecuting that particular case if it, in fact, needs to be prosecuted. So if anything else happens with the governor, I'll let you guys know, but he's just been accused of a third felony <laughs> in the short time that we've known each other. Thank you very much. Catch you guys later.